This is an emergency. Do I have my permission to panic? I run about screaming. Pretty good, my lord. Oh, Lord Heacham! I cannot understand the difficulty you're having. Don't touch me. If you touch me, I shall scream. Grasping the fact that I am not going to marry you. You're a silly little nonsense, aren't you? Now, come here and kiss me. <laughs> Poor little scrap. Put her in the Shropshire show, calling her fat. People will laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, I'm looking for you. Where are you? I want to talk to you. Friends? Ah, Connie. Splendid. Um, heard you calling. I uh, was able to find you, so I thought, what a capital idea to... Fling the servant's shoes around. Clarence, I need to talk to you. Um. Now, keep lips shut. It stops the drivel coming out. Mm. What are you going to do about Angela breaking off her engagement to Lord Heacham? Heacham? Sir Gregory's nephew. Oh. It's an eminently suitable match, but instead, she professes love for the unpalatable Jimmy Belford. Oh, I like him. Well, they can't get married. It's out of the question. No, I mean, he's uh, in Africa, Australia. America. Yes. He found employment as a cowboy, whatever that is. But he is now back in England. Mm. Belford is without prospects. The marriage to him is not possible. Connie, I've got so many nieces. Can't you sort it out? Well, of course I could. But for primogeniture, I could sort out the entire family. But it is you who were born a man, or a mm. vague approximation of one. No. You have to do it. Uh, <clears throat> Where are you going? If I'm to defeat Sir Gregory, I need to inflate the Empress. And it's no good point in that chin at me either. Forget the pig. Administrate the family. Oh, and to top it all, Freddy is on his way. Um. Your son. Tree was travelling far too fast. And on the wrong side of the road. Ah. 